Let's bring an executive director, Center for Democracy and Development in Abuja, Idayat Hassan, for more on today's observance. Um, let's review the state of democracy in Nigeria. The delivery of good governance and adherence to the rule of law are supposed to be key components of democracy. How would you say the country has fared since 1999? Well, uh, thank you very much for having me. I think importantly, uh, as a country, we fared well, especially when it comes to periodic elections. And the last 22 years, we've continued to have these elections and we are yet to experience a coup d'etat. I think this is the longest stretch of democracy Nigeria has ever enjoyed. And for that, we continue to be grateful and we hope that this will go. Now, to the other rudiments of what democracy actually entails to the people, I think the first question when you ask Nigerians is, how well has this democracy delivered development to the people in the last 22 years? I think that remains very contentious because public goods and services in forms of road, water, infrastructure, security are becoming much more scarce very, very scarce, poverty, especially with COVID, all these indicators are like kind of declining, that's one. Two, again, when we start talking about human rights, I think that we've not done well. In on all the indicators used to map and monitor human rights, the last 22 years, in particular, the last five years, there has been a decline on all of it. I think one very important one is the Freedom Index. So when you look at it, we are now on five out of seven, which is very, very worrying. We've never been free since the last 22 years. We've always been partly free, but we've never gotten <coughs> to such, we've never detectorated to such numbers we are actually experiencing in terms of political rights and on civil rights index. And human rights violations are just out there for everybody to see. I think that's very, very worrying because at least human rights are inalienable rights because we are humans. That is why we have those rights. We, mm. we are entitled to it. I also Absolutely. think one thing to note is that the insecurity that is pervading the six geopolitical zones have also impacted on rights. We can't take that away. So it's not just to talk about state actors that are actually violating the rights of people, but what the non-state actors like Boko Haram, the bandit terrorists in the Northwest, and kidnappers across the country are doing. They're actually perpetrating so much human rights violations as well. And these non-state actors, violent non-state actors, have also multiplied in the last 22 years because they are quite important indicators. I agree with you. We can go on and on reviewing all the developments um, since uh, the wake of democracy in Nigeria. But you mentioned earlier about the success in successive elections since 1999. What about the credibility of this election, which also, in a way, embodies the rights of citizens to vote? How do you think that we're doing in that regard? I think that with elections, we are making headways. And we should start commending some institutions that work in this country. And I think I make it one. Even over the weekend, we saw them introduce the beavers again, which actually had more credibility to the elections. But the quality of elections is become contentious due to the actions of the political class. The win at all costs mentality of our politicians have not allowed innovations to actually bring about the desired re result. So it's been more like, oh, you conduct one elections with each person elections, it becomes much more violent. You are trying to find, people are finding a way to circumvent processes such that just a by-elections, a by-election, a state house of assembly by-election over the weekend, we recorded one person actually shot again. And it goes to, it's still a part of democracy. It's still part of the fact that people feel that this is a process where they benefit, not where they actually make lives 
better for the citizens whom they claim they are actually representing. Executive Director, Center for Democracy and Development, Hidayat Hassan, thank you for talking to us tonight.